Hi guys, my name is Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to uh, do a how-to video on how to solder. So um, we'll start off by showing what tools you need to do soldering. Uh, obviously you need a soldering iron. I like the pistol grip because it's uh, much easier to hold. And I like this particular type, the Harco Presto, because it has a uh, quick heat up button. Uh, so this button, what it does is that it accelerates the, the heating process, but you cannot hold it too long. Not more than 30 seconds or else you'll, uh, you'll burn the tip. So um, this makes it hotter faster, but once it's hot, you don't have to press the button anymore. And it, this this is nice because it can you can change the tips. Uh, it comes with a standard fine point tip. But problem with fine points is that it does not uh, heat up large surfaces well because of the, the small contact area. So I, I changed to this, uh, as you can see over here, like a chisel point. It has a flat area uh, right at the very tip, as you can see. Okay, so um, when heating up a large, uh, larger uh, areas, it's much faster. This is good, but fine tip is for fine work, so that's what I use. And of course, you need to get a good um, stand for soldering iron because you cannot put the soldering iron on the table. It also, you'll start melting and burning stuff away. I modified my my uh, soldering iron stand with some PVC pipe, and I put my my soldering lead on it, uh, and I also put my my lighter for shrink wraps. So moving on to what other tools that you need. Obviously you need a wire cutter, you know, this is actually my hobby cutters, but you can easily cut a small wire, small gauge wire like this, you know, this is soft enough. So I use hobby side cutters, but you can use almost any cutter. Um, a good tool, a great tool to get is the um, self-locking uh, tweezers because you don't have to pinch so hard when you're grabbing something. For example, when you want to grab uh, a piece of uh, item that you want to grab, as you notice, I'm grabbing it very relaxingly. Once it's grabbed, I just have to hold it in place. I don't have to constantly uh, press it like this, this type of regular tweezer where you have to constantly squeeze and you get real tired very quickly. So this is a, an, a better alternative than this type of a, uh, tweezers, which which is fine for normal use, but if you're doing a lot, this is far better. So self-locking tweezers, they come in straight and um, bent. Let's show you. I have the straight one and I have the bent one. So yeah. Another good thing to get is a automatic wire stripper. I won't say automatic, but what it does is that it adjusts to different um, wire gauges. So with a thick wire gauge, thicker, I won't say thick, such as this. You don't have to uh, adjust it. All you have to do is grab it like that, and it strips very cleanly. Okay, and I could do the same thing with a much smaller gauge wire. As you can see here, I just put it in the tip, and it strips very cleanly. Okay, so I'll, I like this. This is this is nice. Okay, it even comes with a little wire cutter. So let's let's cut the wire just for demonstration. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to strip the wire again because we're going to do a real quick wire joining video. So this is this is soldering paste. This is literally magic for soldering. Okay, using this helps to make the solder wick into the uh, wire or any surface that you are soldering so much easier. You know, one of the problems with people soldering is that when you um, apply solder to the um, or lead to the um, to the wire, for example, and you realize it beads up all the time. Like, see, you see, it's not it's not sticking to the wire. It, what it doesn't want to flow, as you can see, it just balls there, and a lot of people tend to um, uh, put too much and then you know get frustrated. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a little bit of soldering paste, okay, like so and apply the um, solder. I'm just going to clean this up. You see the solder, the, the tin, is flowing into the wires. So, same with this. You can see it's flowing. So now the entire length of the wire uh, that exposed is coated with uh, solder or tin. So once you tin them both up, you can now join them. So uh, of course, uh, with your third hand, you can do this. Uh, 
suggesting this helps or you can use a tweezer for the side like so okay okay and let me pull it up so the camera can see real clearly okay like so so if you want to join the uh, two wires together and this how you how this is how you can join it you you, you make sure you, you tin both sides you know apply solder to both sides and then just apply some heat you can you can have flint tip apply heat to both sides like so and voila the joint is so strong you can even lift a little tip of French share with me if, if you're going to store this you know if you're going to store it if you're going to turn it off apply some tin fill it up coat the tip with tin and let it um, cool off like so of course you, you only do this if you're storing if you, so uh, always work with safety uh, I use this this carbon filter has been um, really really helpful it actually removes a lot of fumes when I'm working with um, um, soldering and stuff like that okay guys so I hope this video has been informative on how to solder I too am learning on how to solder myself through experience and top tips from my friends so um, as you can see I'm also wearing my workshop apron when I'm working in my shop uh, it, it is good for safety it helps to uh, prevent uh, any hot uh, material especially when you're working with the solder or glues and stuff like that uh, to, you know it, it gives you a layer of safety and also to prevent you from uh, bringing dust all over the house you know the wife would, would kill you and uh, especially with us plastic modelers it does help to catch little parts that may roll off the table and many horror stories of parts that never seen again many years after so um top tip wear, wear a workshop apron and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and if you if you do please like and subscribe